Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be knotting this beautiful bracelet with you. I'm just chatting and rambling on about random things. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I'm just going to be um, cutting some painter's tape and just taping down this lovely bracelet first before I start knotting. This is a great pattern. I love it so much. Um, I found it because I was watching some of pattern and crafts videos that she posted a while i don't think she's posted in like over a year it's kind of sad she was she has such a great channel um but i was like binging her videos the other day and i came across some of her patterns on racial book because i filtered searched for her her name and or for her, her patterns and um i found this one and i just added a whole bunch of them to my to-do list so they're so great um i'm actually pretty happy about how this pattern is coming along so far i was trying to make my knots look nice like i didn't really care how long this bracelet would take me i just want to make sure my knots look nice make sure that they're loose enough and yeah that's a really big tip i have like if you want to progress quickly in friendship bracelets um make sure your knots are looser but like yet even at the same time like make sure that they're not too tight but not too loose like that sweet spot but just make sure that they're i guess more on the loose side of the spectrum because it makes them look a lot nicer neater and it gives them that really nice uh round shape so it's really cool anyway so this video today is just you know a fun little video where i just talk and ramble on about random stuff going on uh, I posted a poll a few weeks ago that asked you guys what video you want to see next on this channel and you guys voted in for a not with me style or not in chill style video that discussed just random topics maybe life stuff because I mean the window to telling you guys about personal stuff is now open because I did reveal my face in my last video as long as well as some random facts about me which I kind of wish I did a Q&A instead like an actual real Q&A where you guys ask me questions um, maybe I'll do another video um, comment down below if you want that but yeah so not a lot has been going on with me lately just school ended I'm going into high school next year I'm gonna be in ninth grade which is gonna be really interesting for all those high schoolers who are out there comment down below and let me know what it's like the first day of high school like is it a big transition from like junior high or middle school to high school let me know down below in the comments because i'm a little nervous for that but i'm actually already on their cross country team for the high school i'm going to and we're doing pretty well so far i'm, I'm excited to start the actual season next year and it's gonna be fun um, yeah. So, I've also been trying to find some more books that I like, because as I mentioned in one of my other videos, I like to write. I haven't written in months, like many months, because I lost, like, all of my, I guess, motivation to write, because I stopped reading for a while. I got a lack of input into my brain so I'm not coming with I wasn't coming up with as many ideas as I was before and that led to a lack of motivation to write which is a little sad but I mean maybe writing isn't the career for me or it could be I'm just going through a bit of a hard time and I'm wanting to try to pick it up like pick the hobby back up again because it was I had an amazing thing going with you know the world of literature and stuff like that so i might be trying and um i'm on a website um called autocrit i'll link in the description for the writers who want to go on there maybe create an account and participate in their stuff but um yeah i'm a member on there and i posted a uh question on the website in the main feed asking 
um, what to do if, you know, I gave them my situation, I told them about what's going on with, you know, my lack of motivation, lack of input, well, like what types of books or inspirations that inspired them, you know, to write their amazing books. And, um, these people, you know, they're authors and I trust their opinions because, you know, they've had a lot more experience than I have had in the past. Um, and they told me to just revisit some old books that inspired me originally to write so a few books that inspired me that i actually recommend for you guys to read if you're into like fantasy and fiction and stuff is um the aragon series also known as the inheritance cycle by the author christopher paolini um it's a great series um i read it when i was 10 or 11 maybe even 12 um it's a great series it's a young adult fantasy fictional novel it's about a young guy named Aragon who was um found a dragon egg in the middle of the forest and you know stuff happened from there I can't spoil it for you guys because you know um so that's a series that I read there are four books in the series it's a really nice series it took me a while to read because it's just a lot the books are super long and stuff so um I might revisit that series. I also wrote that author a letter when I was uh, 12 years old. It took him a few months to get back to me because he actually got back to me. <laughs> I asked him some questions. I told him my name and I sent him a drawing that I uh, drew. It was um, the main dragon in the series and I drew him that picture. He responded with a nice personal letter um, he actually put my name in it, which is so cool. He responded to all of my questions, gave me, um, you know, his backstory on how he became a writer. And it was just so awesome. And he gave me multiple, he gave me um, two signatures or two autographs. And he also sent a picture of himself and signed that one, which was so cool. I still have the stuff. Sadly, um, it got drenched in water and it was awful, but... Um, it's dry now. I dried it out, and it's it's fine. But it was it's it was very special, and I'm always gonna keep that. So, it was a big thing for me. Anyway, for those who don't like to talk about literature and reading and writing, um, let's move on to a different topic. So, um, I've been, as you know, absent from the bracelet world for like a long time before my last video when I decided to you know get reinvolved with the community. And it seems like a lot has happened since I left, which was like, I hadn't nodded anything in like over nine months, I think, in, or since the video before my last. So a lot seemed to have happened and taken place in the bracelet community. And let me know down in the comments, like what happened? Like, just let me know. I'm interested to hear, you know, any crazy stories or um, big events or updates on bracelet book or anywhere else really in the community from you guys. So just let me know. I feel like I missed a whole bunch of stuff, so. Also lately I've been watching um, the TV series Cobra Kai. If you guys have watched it, <laughs> definitely, again, comment down below if you've watched it and like I've watched all four seasons so like don't be afraid to spoil it for me because um yeah again I've watched all four and it's so probably my favorite show I've ever watched like even better than any of the fantasy shows I watched any like fictional stuff that's more my genre like that show I can't even describe to you how much I love it like it's the best thing ever um, so yeah, let me know who your favorite characters are in that show or like, you know, any opinions you have, whether controversial or just like a no-brainer, because I would love to hear that stuff and chat with you guys about that as well. Um, I won't spoil anything in this video just in case some of you have not watched it, which you should go download it on your TV or go on Disney Plus or you, you know, wherever it, you can find it, Netflix especially, um, and watch it because it's the best thing you're ever going to watch. Just, if, if you're, like, under, I guess, I'd say 16, but I don't know. If you're under that age, definitely, um, 
ask your parents before you watch it because there's language and references in there that's not really for kids. Um, but it's a really awesome TV show. And you guys, yeah, comment. Let me know what you think about it. That's, like, the biggest thing. Um, if you're wondering, my favorite character in the show is probably Tori Nichols. She's one of, well, I don't know if she's a main character in the TV show, but she's definitely a big character in the show. Uh, she moves along the plot really nicely. Um, I don't know, I just really like her a lot. I think she's... Even though, yes, she does display evil acts from the start, she's, like, the coolest character. I don't know. Um, yeah, so let me know who your favorite character is. I also have a really controversial opinion that most people probably don't agree with, but I really hate Sam LaRusso. Uh, <laughs> she's, like, the most annoying, like, fake character in any TV show. She's like the worst. I hate her so much. Like, I'm sorry. And it's kind of weird how my opinions have switched on Daniel LaRusso and Johnny Lawrence. Um, they're also in the original kar karate movies, karate kid movies. Um, it's weird because like, you know, in those movies you obviously are rooting for Daniel the whole time. But then once, you know, the first episode of Cobra Kai starts, you're like, wait, Johnny's like so much better. Daniel's kind of annoying. I don't know. He's, they're cool. All the characters are cool. They all have their own function in the, the TV show, and it's all super cool. But, yeah. Okay, so I finished one more of these like triangle areas on here. I'm gonna start the next one. Depending on how long this video is and how much time I have to film, um, I'll probably be ending after maybe like after this one or you know, after that maybe even. Just, it just depends on how much time. Also, I have some news about, uh, for you guys about my bracelet Google Classroom. I put this in the description of my last video, but I'm no longer in control of that classroom because I forgot the password to the account that's the main teacher, quote unquote, teacher in that classroom. Uh, it was the official Craft Crazy YouTube channel, or the official Craft Crazy Gmail account, and I thought at first I'd put in a very memorable password, but it turned out uh, I can't even remember it now. So no matter how hard I try, I just still can't remember. And I thought I signed in and saved the password on my computer, but uh, I guess I was wrong about that because I can't find the password to that account. So I can no longer sign in, but you guys can still, you know, participate in polls and stuff. I just won't be able to control that anymore. So, I don't think I'll be posting on there. I can't move teachers. I can't do anything because I just can't sign into the main account, which is pretty sad. If you guys want, um, let me know if you want me to create like a Discord channel uh, for Friendship Bracelets. I know there's multiple. I am a user on those Discord servers. Um, I know Masha Knots has one. I know Claire does too. I'm not sure about anyone else, but yeah, so let me know if you want me to create a Discord server for you guys. I might be able to do that, and I probably will if you guys want to. I just, you know, I, I'm, I'm not really familiar with creating a Discord server or with Discord in general. Like, I barely ever use Discord. And if you guys also want me to create a Discord server, let me know what types of things, like features you want me to add in there that could be, you know, be different and not be included in, in Mosh's or Claire's servers. Something that would be more unique. But I'll try to get that going maybe if you guys want.
believe it or not, this is actually my third attempt at creating this video. I'm going through uh, a video slump, if you will. Um, a different form of like a bracelet slump, but for videos. So, it's been taking me three tries. This is my third try. And I don't know what's been happening. Like, I haven't been happy with my other videos. I remember... Um, I lost a lot, of, a lot of their files, some of the audio, so it was a big mess. But I hope this one, <laughs> I hope this one gets posted on YouTube, because <laughs> I haven't not been able to keep up with my expectations with posting these videos. But I'm still gonna keep trying until I post one. So. So what are you guys nodding right now as you're watching this video if you are nodding a bracelet? What pattern numbers are you nodding? What types of patterns do you prefer? Let me know. Um, I always, almost always am nodding a bracelet or organizing my string collection when I'm watching a Not With Me video or someone's bracelet YouTube video and sometimes I just play them in the background when I'm just doing other things too because it's kind of, it's, it's really, I don't know. I just like it a lot, and it it's, it gives me like chill vibes almost. <laughs> I don't know. It's just great. I, I love listening to people's voices when they do crafts or something, because they're always almost always relaxed in their videos. Because crafts are almost like a meditative thing to do if you want to like de-stress after a long day or during a long day maybe to pass the time. I still can't believe I got back into bracelets. I really thought I was done with them forever and I didn't know what to do with my extra string. I actually um, almost gave it away. I didn't. I thought I was gonna just like dispose of it forever, but I'm so happy I'm back in here because it gives me something else to do. Because for a while, I just got so disinterested in everything I did before. Um, I was into other things. I didn't really have that many hobbies. I didn't read that much. But now that I'm back, I have so much to do, so much more string to buy. Actually, yesterday I went to Michael's and I just bought a good 15, 16 skeins of more DMC floss. And I tried it out because I hadn't, you know, used DC floss, embroidery floss in a long time. And because I remember I didn't like it before, I thought it was too thin. And the strings would always separate because I think mostly it's used for cross stitch or something and cross stitch string is supposed to come apart because you're supposed to you know split the strings before you start stitching so that was a big problem for me and I stopped using it so I just wanted to you know give another try give it another chance so I went to Michael's yesterday and bought a whole bunch of string maybe I could do a video about my string collection if you guys want that let me know that'd be fun
Okay, so we have reached the end of the second triangle in this video. So I'm just gonna remove the tape. And I'm going to try to bring this up a little more. See if it's good. Oops. Nice fresh piece of tape. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more triangle with you guys, and I think I'm going to be ending this video because there's a lot to do today. Actually, for the summertime, we're getting construction done on our house, and I'm gonna be having to move into my grandparents' house for a few weeks while I do the construction. We're adding actually a whole new room to the top half of our house. For my dad's office he does lots of work at home on the computer every day and he needs more space to work because that's the only place he works at and he's gonna be very busy for the next year um so we're building another room in our house upstairs it's gonna be his, his like man cave or like you know office secondary office almost we're turning his old office into a bedroom so it's gonna be interesting um we're gonna be moving in on the 4th of July, which is on Monday for us. And it's gonna be an interesting experience because I've never lived anywhere else besides this house. So, um, it's gonna be an interesting experience to move into my grandparents' house for at least six, seven, maybe even eight weeks. Maybe until the summer ends. Maybe even more, you never know. Um, so, it's gonna be cool. I don't know what, what to expect really. I have a lot of stuff going on too. Lots of um, activities during the summer I'm gonna be doing. So expect a new setting for my videos. Expect like a new background while I'm nodding. And maybe even a more peaceful one because my grandma's house has a nice um, garden in it where I could take more pictures of my bracelets maybe, upload them do more really, I don't know, really cool videos with a different background. It'll be a lot more peaceful, so. Um, I might even film some bracelet videos up in her treehouse because she has like a tree platform or like treehouse thing up there. So if you guys want that, let me know because that'd be a really cool um, different setting for a video. Also, um, recently I became a um, Taekwondo instructor at my Taekwondo studio, which is a really cool thing. Um, I signed up for the leadership program there and I became what they call a cadet, which is like an in-training instructor. So after I test for the next level of instructor, I'll be an official level, I think level two instructor. And it goes up by levels until like level three or like paid instructor. It takes a long time to get there. Of course, you have to be old enough, at least like 16 or maybe even older to get one of those jobs. But I'm hoping that'll be my first real job because um, it's a really cool place and everyone there is really awesome. So I'm excited to do that. And as I said in my previous video, my uploads are not going to be as consistent, nearly as consistent before. Like, there might be many weeks or maybe even months between videos, which I am very sorry about. It kind of sucks to not be able to post as much, because life provides many opportunities for you to get even busier. <laughs> so, um, that's the reason I'm not going to be uploading, because, like I mentioned a few minutes ago, I'm moving in to my grandparents' house for a little bit um, while the construction's happening. 
I'm involved in many more activities like I'm going to be getting some early community service hours for high school possibly. I'm actually going to be volunteering in my middle school's wood shop as like, you know, an eighth or a graduated eighth grader, incoming ninth grader to help little kids work with wood and help them work the blades and tools used in creating the projects. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be a busy summer for sure. And on top of that, I have piano and cross country. And I might even be doing um, a program where I become a, you know, it's lifeguard training on the beach. So I have a lot, maybe too much even going on. So my uploads <laughs> are not going to be at all even close to consistent or as consistent as they were before. Because I remember I went through a period of time where I'd post like every day. That was so fun. It was during the pandemic, so I didn't really have anything else to do besides like online school, and that was easy peasy for me. And I don't know. It just came easy because I had so much more time. And I had like a little system in my head where I would I'd have like daily filming sessions and be posting one new video every day. So it's an interesting system. And honestly, um, and I mean no disrespect by this, but c the pandemic, like the quarantine was actually one of the most happiest times for me because I'm a natural introvert and I was just at home, relaxing, stress-free the whole time because I never got infected by COVID that I know of. <laughs> um, but you know, obviously I was sad at times too because I heard about you know everything that was going on outside outside of my little house so you know obviously not the happiest time for everyone as a whole but like I did enjoy I did find some joy or you know I found joy in being at home because I got good grades in online school it worked out for me which was surprising I didn't expect it to at first I kind of hated it and then I I found the beauty in it I got to work at my own pace and just everything was kind of working out. But I do remember, you know, there are many times where I was stressed out, like, oh no, maybe I was exposed to the virus. Um, I might not be able to have Christmas plans with, you know, my family, they might not be able to come up. I was nervous about that, but you know, it all worked out for us in the end, so we're really lucky for that. COVID was a pretty tragic time for a lot of people, and I know some people now who got it when it was first, you know, surging, are still suffering from after effects from that. So I have a few friends who got it and they're still suffering from after effects. I know one of them, she had it over a year ago and she got it twice within like a month from each other. And she's still suffering from breathing issues. Like if she walks, she'll start breathing hard because the after effects of the virus kind of, you know, they affected her and it might stay forever. It might slowly go away and fade away and not come back. And you know, of course people have worse problems than that, but So we are reaching the end of my third triangle. I did make some awesome progress while nodding with you guys here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some more progress done on your bracelets individually and yeah so like share and subscribe for more of my content also comment down below for you know what you guys want to see in the future and several things they gave you to comment down below on so yeah let me know of all those things and i will see you guys in my next video bye